The emotion, the intensity, the celebration, and whether in the light of day or dark of night, one thing never changes. We are all united with the Mountaineers. Welcome to the United Bank Playbook with Coach Dana Holgerson. And we do welcome you into the United Bank playbook as West Virginia gets set to take on the Longhorns of Texas. Interesting matchup. Uh, Charlie Strong in his first season, you could see like an elevator. They're going up as far as improvement goes, getting better offensively, getting better defensively. Scheme-wise, what do you think he does to you this week? Well, I, I think he's going to mix things up. Just you know, you, all you got is is what you can uh, see on tape. You know, you, you do your best to be able to prepare the right way for what you're going to see, and then in-game adjustments are always important as well. Uh, you know, he does a good job of mixing up the fronts, gets us into some different things that we got to ID, whether we're pass protecting or whether we're running the ball, which I think Tyler Orlowski's done a great job of that. Uh, then in the secondary, they're going to play a mixture of some off coverage, cover two. Uh, got to think they're going to do some of that stuff because of Kevin, and then they're going to play some man coverage as well to be able to put more people in the box. How much do they heat you up? Uh, not they, not a bunch, you know. They're a third medium blitz team that they're they're going to do that just like everybody else does. Uh, but they not, they don't do it a ton. They're going to do it periodically. They're going to bring some zone blitzes, some man blitzes as well. Uh, we got to identify that. We got to look at it, and then we got to be able to execute the appropriate way, regardless of what they do. You touched on your press conference in your press conference on Tuesday. Hey, you know this team has said goodbye to the TCU game. Talk to me a little bit about the meeting on Sunday and how they literally said we're done we're going ahead yeah I did, you know there was a lot of disappointment you know I, you know clearly there's a lot of disappointment for everybody involved coaches players fan base uh, media all the rest of it yeah it's it disappointing but uh, you know the only way to really move on is is to have a collection of guys that understand uh, the next game uh, we got a lot of experience in the locker room we got a lot of guys that understand the next game is going to be pretty fun too the next game is going to be a great atmosphere in Austin, Texas. I uh, don't want the TCU game to beat us twice. Get rid of it. Let's move on so we can enjoy the next Big 12 football game. Injury-wise, that was a very physical game. You guys dealt out a lot of punishment. There were some heavy hits. How'd you come out? Yeah, really good. Really good. I mean, we got all hands on deck. We're, we're healthy. We're in a good place. Uh, I can't say enough about the job that Mike Joseph's done uh, with, our, with, our, with our bodies. Uh, Dave Kearns has done a great job getting these guys healthy as well. Uh, my job is to do the whole mental thing, you know, so we're going to have a good week of practice. We're going to get down there. It's going to be a fun, a fun atmosphere, exciting game. Looking forward to it. Well, weather should be great. Coach, we wish you the best. All right, thank you.